<sighs> iPad mini. Let's get into it. We shall start off the unboxing experience like we do any other unboxing experience. A knife! That's right, a knife! A spring action semi-quasi makes me feel tough like I might have a switchblade type of knife, but I really don't, so don't worry about that. So we are gonna go ahead and get into this box iPad mini, I think I know what color I got based on what color my Folio keyboard is, but it's been so long since I've ordered it that I've ordered a couple things. Wow, okay. So it looks like I got a Smart Folio keyboard and a Smart Folio keyboard. One of them's going back. And we have the iPad mini, and it looks like it is none other than purple, just like our folio case. So here it is, purple folio case, iPad mini. This is spectacular. Now I have secured a good amount of Apple products this release for all of you guys. So enjoy the videos, watch the videos, make me spending my hard earned money on these devices for your viewing enjoyment worth it. Just make it worth it. Hit the like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share my content with your friends and family on social media. So Apple has made the unboxing experience a little easy. But from what I recall on the iPhones, there was no plastic on the outside. And now we're at the minis, which is a bigger box. Now, mind you, they're probably selling less of them. They're just as expensive, but they're still choosing to put the plastic on it. Doesn't make any sense to me. So they make it easy to pull it off, but if they were gonna remove the plastic from one device, one product, why not the rest of them? And that's what I don't understand here. But let's just go ahead and take a quick little tour a victory lap if you will around the box so we have this mini right there i'm sure that says mini in some sort of abstract way one way shape or form we've got the color mini and we've got a mini apple so that's it it's the box and all the gizmos and gadgets and numbers and crumbers are on the back and now without further ado let's see the ipad mini Never owned a Mini, never used a Mini. So I'm pretty excited to see what is this? This is like nothing I've ever seen before. It can literally fit in my hand. It's comfortable. I can one hand it. I can two hand and it. I believe I got the one where you can put the little SIM card in here. So I'm going to add this to my data plan and this is going to go everywhere with me. This is pretty phenomenal. So this, this looks and feels great. It's got that giant old lens there. So that's a big old lens on there. Most likely it's a 12 megapixel lens because somewhere back in the nineties, Apple bought 12 megapixel lenses in bulk and now they're getting a chance to use them all. So I've broken the story. I know why they're doing it. So charging brick, charging cable, sending mixed messages, Apple, sending mixed messages. All I wanna know is do I get a purple mini sticker? I don't. I get white stickers, so bleh. When I bought my colored IMAX, I did get colored stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck these away because there's a good chance I do not need them. <laughs> and I'll never use them. I will just add to the cords and cables and plugs polluting my house. So I agree with Apple's decision to remove the plugs from the boxes. I just wish they would send a better message and stay a little more consistent with their decision to remove the charging bricks or out 
outlets from the box because now here we are another device just as popular maybe not as popular i like to think it is and they're putting it in there so what's good for the goose is good for the gander it means what you do for one you do for the other but apple doesn't seem to think like that they kind of have a hierarchy of stuff i don't know Maybe they're banking on you not having a USB-C to USB-C cord or outlet. I don't really know, but it is what it is. Here is our smart folio case, which somehow I ended up with two. Don't know how, don't know why. Uh, don't remember buying two, so we got a little bit of investigation to do. So smart folio case just goes ahead and attaches there. This is one thing I absolutely miss about the <laughs> the magic case is I miss the ability to just take it and be like, yep, yeah, you're now a kickstand or the other way if you want to take it and flip it around and be like, yeah, now I'm going to do some typing. You know, I miss that experience a little bit. I do find the convenience of the magic floating keyboard. I'd be super weird if they created a magic floating keyboard for this, but I suppose anything's possible and there might be some third party, uh, products out there that I might explore down the road. If you have an interest in seeing some additional iPad mini accessories, drop me a comment and let me know. And if enough of you tell me you wanna see some iPad mini uh, content, I'll go ahead and get some more accessories and we'll show them to you guys. So let's go ahead and just appreciate and enjoy the setup experience with any Apple product and it's phenomenal. So the touch ID on the mini is actually on the power button. So let's go ahead and give you a little demonstration up there. I actually find it very, very convenient that the power button, which is the button that you press to turn it on, is also the button that uh, scans your fingerprint. So it says rotate the iPad in order to give another fingerprint access to go ahead and um, unlock it, which is super smart because if you had this fingerprint scanned up there, you'd have to come over here if you ever had it there. So I actually commend Apple for forward thinking that and getting that on the books because that was, that's super smart right there. That's what I gotta say. Apple, you got smart people working for you. Well, here we have it, folks, the iPad mini definitely fits in your hand it has the smart folio cover which i think is absolutely mandatory it's got touch id on the top it is little it's super cute it's super small it stays in your hand it can go in your pocket it's one-handed i can do so much with this i can i'm just like it's blowing my mind right now this moment why i've never had one of these before i am very 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 happy that i got the one with the 5g i think having 5g in your devices is super important guys we are in the future now as we speak if your device is 5g capable jump aboard be part of the advancement be part of the revolution be part of getting out there and using your devices as they were built and meant to be used it blows my mind when i hear people who spend an extra hundred dollars 150 dollars on a device so it's 5g enabled and all they have to say is i don't want the monthly bill of 10 bucks a month this is a luxury device and the maintenance on it 10 bucks plus insurance it's just the way it is get out there enjoy your electronics enjoy your devices enjoy your apple products let them be part of your life and your lifestyle and if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel while you're at it thanks for watching the video if you have made it this far don't forget to hit that subscribe like and drop me a comment and tell me if you want to see more ipad mini content so that way i know what kind of videos to make for you till next time get the f out of here namaste